50 historical facts you never knew. Number one. In 1908, New Yorker Katie Mulcahy was arrested for striking a match against a wall and lighting a cigarette with it because this was a violation of the Sullivan Ordinance, a city law banning women from smoking in public. During her hearing at the district court, Mulcahy argued about her rights to smoke cigarettes in public. She was fined $5 at the time. Two weeks later, the Sullivan Ordinance was vetoed by New York City's mayor. Number 2. The Titanic's owners never said the ship was unsinkable. Despite what James Cameron's iconic 1997 film may have you believe, the owners never said that it could never sink. Number 3. Queen Cleopatra was not Egyptian. Despite what you may believe, the last queen of Egypt wasn't born in Egypt. As best as historians can tell, Cleopatra VII was Greek. She was a descendant of Alexander the Great's Macedonian general Ptolemy. Number 4. Thomas Edison didn't invent the light bulb. While Edison did have an astonishing 1,093 patents, the majority of these were not of his own invention. He stole most of them. While he did lend the patent for the light bulb in 1880, the real inventor was actually Warren de la Rue, a British astronomer and chemist who actually created the very first light bulb 40 years before Edison. Number 5. Pope Gregory IV declared war on cats in the 13th century. He said that black cats were instruments of Satan. Because of this belief, he ordered the extermination of these felines throughout Europe. However, this plan backfired as it resulted in an increase in the population of play-carrying rats. Number 6. Abraham Lincoln was also a licensed bartender. In 1833, the 16th president opened up a bar called Barry and Lincoln with his friend William F. Barry in New Salem, Illinois. The shop was eventually closed when Barry consumed most of the shop supply. Number 7. During World War II, a Great Dane named Juliana was awarded the Blue Cross Medal. She extinguished an incendiary bomb by peeing on it. Number 8. You may know them as the bunch of heroes that broke box office records with their movies, but the Avengers was also a group of Jewish assassins who hunted Nazi war criminals after World War II. They poisoned 2,283 German prisoners of war. Number 9. For over 30 years, Canada and Denmark have been playfully fighting for control of a tiny island near Greenland called Hans Island. Once in a while, when officials from each country visit, they leave a bottle of their country's liquor as a power move. Number 10. Vladimir Pravik was one of the first firefighters to reach the Chernobyl nuclear power plant on April 26, 1986. The radiation was so strong that it changed his eye color from brown to blue. Like the majority of the first responders to the radioactive disaster, Vladimir died 15 days later from severe radiation poisoning. Number 11. July 4th is not the real American Independence Day. It is actually July 2nd, because this is when the Second Continental Congress in Philadelphia actually voted to approve a resolution of independence. July 4th, though, is when the Congress adopted the official Declaration of Independence, and most didn't even sign that until August. Number 12. From 1912 to 1948, the Olympic Games held competitions in the fine arts. Medals were given for literature, architecture, sculpture, painting, and music. Naturally, the art created was required to be Olympic-themed. Before the art events were eventually removed, 151 medals were awarded. Number 13. During Prohibition in the United States, the U.S. government poisoned alcohol. When people continued to consume alcohol despite its banning, law officials got frustrated and decided to try a different kind of deterrent, death. They ordered the poisoning of industrial alcohols manufactured in the U.S., which were products regularly stolen by bootleggers. By the end of Prohibition in 1933, the federal poisoning program is estimated to have killed at least 10,000 people. Number 14. Turkeys were once worshipped like gods. While the turkey is currently America's favorite part of the Thanksgiving meal, in 300 BC, these big birds were believed by the Mayan people as vessels of the gods and were honored so much so that they were domesticated to have roles in religious rites. They were symbols of power and prestige and can be found everywhere in Maya iconography and archaeology. Number 15. John Adams was the first president to live in the White House. While the White House was under construction during Washington's term, he never lived there. It wasn't until John Adams took office that a president lived there. Interestingly enough, George Washington is the only president to date who has not lived in the White House. Number 16. 
Hollywood moved from New York to Los Angeles to escape Edison's patents. Thomas Edison had patents on over 1,000 different things, including most of the technology needed to make high-end movies. So independent filmmakers moved to California, an area of the country where the judges weren't as friendly to Edison and his patents. Number 17. Alexander the Great might have accidentally been buried alive. Scientists believe Alexander suffered from a neurological disorder called Guillain-Barre syndrome. They believe that when he died, he was actually just paralyzed and completely mentally aware. Number 18. In the ancient Olympics, athletes performed naked. This was to achieve closeness to the gods and also help detox their skin through sweating. In fact, the word gymnastics comes from the ancient Greek words gamasha, which means athletic training, and gumnos, which means naked. Number 19. During the Great Depression, people made clothes out of food sacks. People used flour bags, potato sacks, and anything made out of burlap. Because of this trend, food distributors started to make their sacks more colorful to help people remain a little bit fashionable. Number 20. In 1644, English statesman Oliver Cromwell banned the eating of pie. He declared it a pagan form of pleasure. For 16 years, pie eating and making went underground until the restoration leaders lifted the ban on pie in 1660. Number 21. With a fork. Forks, the widely used eating utensils, were once seen as blasphemous. They were first introduced in Italy in the 11th century. These spiked spaghetti twirling instruments were seen as an offense to God because they were artificial hands, and as such was considered to be sacrilegious. Number 22. Before the 16th president took office, Abraham Lincoln was declared a wrestling champion. The 6-4 president had only one loss among 300 contests. He earned a reputation for this in Illinois as an elite fighter. Eventually, he earned his county's wrestling championship. Number 23. Cars weren't invented in the United States. The first car actually was created in the 19th century when European engineers Carl Benz and Emil Levasseur were working on automobile inventions. Benz patented the first automobile in 1886. Number 24. Ketchup was sold as a medicine in early 19th century. In 1834, ketchup was sold as a cure for indigestion by an Ohio physician named John Cook. It wasn't popularized as a condiment until the late 19th century. Number 25. The first face on the $1 bill was not George Washington. The first face to appear on this currency was Salmon P. Chase. The first $1 bill was issued during the Civil War in 1862. Chase was the Secretary of Treasury at that time and was also the designer of the country's first banknotes. Number 26. Cowboys didn't actually wear cowboy hats. Those big Stetsons that everyone associates with cowboys like John Wayne, Billy the Kid, or Wyatt Earp. Yeah, cowboys didn't wear those. In fact, the hat of choice for the 19th century cowboys was actually a bowler hat. Number 27. Owen was elected to the U.S. Congress before women could even vote. Jeanette Rankin joined Congress in 1916, which was four years before women could actually vote. The 19th Amendment, which gave women the right to vote, wasn't passed until August 18, 1920. Number 28. Columbus didn't actually discover America. Columbus was actually 500 years too late. In fact, it was the Norse explorer Leif Erikson who landed on American shores during the 10th century. Erikson could be considered the first European to discover America. Number 29. The Bloody Mary wasn't always called a Bloody Mary. It was actually called a Bucket of Blood after which it transitioned to Red Snapper and finally Bloody Mary. Number 30. In ancient Greece, they believed redheads became vampires after death. This was partly because red-headed people are very pale-skinned and sensitive to sunlight, unlike the Mediterranean Greeks who had olive skin and dark features. Number 31. In the Victorian era, men with mustaches used special cups, pragmatically called mustache cups. These specially made mugs had guards on them which prevented a man's mustache from dipping into their warm cup of tea. Number 32. 46 BC was 445 days long and is the longest year in human history. Nicknamed the Year of Confusion, this year had two extra leap months inserted by Julius Caesar. This was in order to make his newly formed Julian calendar match up with the seasonal year. Number 33. Alexander the Great named over 70 cities after himself. He conquered over 2 million square miles of the Earth's surface, all by the time he was 30 and so naming cities after himself was much deserved. Number 34. President Zachary Taylor died from a cherry overdose. 
Zachary Taylor passed away after eating way too many cherries and drinking milk at a 4th of July party in 1850. He died on July 9th from gastroenteritis. The acid in cherries, along with the milk, is believed to have caused this. Number 35. During the Victorian period, it was normal to photograph loved ones after they died. People would dress their newly deceased relatives in their best clothing and then put them in lifelike poses and photograph them. They did this to preserve one last image of their dead loved one. Number 36. In 18th century England, pineapples were a status symbol. Those rich enough to own a pineapple would carry them around to signify their personal wealth and high-class status. In that day and age, everything from clothing to houseware was decorated with the tropical fruit. Number 37. Roman Catholics in Bavaria founded a secret society in 1740 called the Order of the Pog. New members had to wear dog collars and scratch at the door to get in. This paramasonic society was reportedly active until 1902. Number 38. King Henry VIII of England had servants were called grooms of stool, whose job was to wipe his bottom after he went to the bathroom. During his reign, he had all of those four such people knighted. Number 39. From the 1940s to the 1970s, Yale plus other Ivy League schools like Harvard, Vassar, and Brown required their freshmen to pose nude for a photo shoot. The goal was to gather material for a massive study into how rickets developed and that involved sticking pins to the backs of the subjects male and female. Generations of the country's elite who went to the Ivy League's pose and the archives included the naked photos of well-known figures ranging from George W. Bush, Hillary Clinton, and Meryl Streep. The photos were destroyed after news leaked and the study was denounced. Number 40. Since 1945, all British tanks have been equipped with tea-making facilities. Before this time, British tank crews had to exit their armored vehicles when they wanted to make a quick coffee. Number 41. During World War I, the French built a fake Paris. It was built as a means of throwing off German bombers and fighter pilots flying over French skies. Number 42. An ancient text called the Voynich Manuscript still baffles scientists. Handwritten in an unknown language, the Voynich Manuscript has been carbon dated to roughly 1404-1438. Hundreds of cryptographers and master codebreakers have tried to decipher it over the years, with none succeeding in grasping its meaning or origin. Number 43. Did you know that the Great Wall of China, one of the world's most iconic structures, was not built all at once? In fact, it was constructed over several centuries. The initial construction began as early as the 7th century BC and continued until the 17th century AD. This massive architectural marvel stretches over 13,000 miles and was primarily built to protect the Chinese Empire from invasions. Number 44. The first known artworks date back roughly 100,000 years ago. It is believed to have begun with the Homo sapiens during the Upper Paleolithic era. The oldest known artworks were found in a cave in what is now France. Number 45. There were dance marathons during the Great Depression. These human endurance contests served as a way of giving financially unstable married couples a roof over their head and food to eat for a few days. The dance partners would take turns sleeping while the other propped them up and continued dancing with them. Number 46. The Leaning Tower of Pisa was never straight. Known for its four-degree lean, this Italian bell tower was constructed in the 12th century. When construction on second story started, the tower started to lean due to the unstable ground it was built on. Number 47. Ancient Egyptian, pharaohs used their slaves as flight catchers. They would lather their slaves in honey, which would attract any flies to their slaves rather than themselves, as well as trap and kill the flies. Number 48. In the Battle of Pelusium, the Persians knew that Egyptians worshipped cats and were forbidden to kill them. So the Persians used them as shields. Number 49. In ancient Greece, wearing skirts was manly. In fact, Greeks viewed trousers as effeminate and would mock any men who wore them. Number 50. Before alarm clocks and way before smartphone alarms, there were people called knocker-uppers who would literally knock on people's windows to wake them up in time for work. Up until the 1970s, knocker-uppers used a long stick, soft hammers, rattles, or even pea shooters to reach their clients' windows. And dare you have it, 50 remarkable historic facts that shed light on different periods of our past. If you found this video fascinating, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more intriguing historical contents. Thank you for watching and until next time, stay curious and keep exploring history.